There he is. What's up, champ? Hey, how you doing? I was, you know, I don't know if we're just sitting there good. Yeah, my man. You at the gym? I'm at the gym, actually. I'm going to go outside so I can hear you. I got you. I got you. I got you. What's going on, man? Nothing, man. Just uh, still in shock over Saturday. You're in shock, huh? A little bit. What about you? Uh, I'm doing all right. You know, let me go in the other part. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. Because it cause don't light out there. No, I mean it, it, it was a um, it was a good fight. I I thought that Spencer would win. You did, you know, okay. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was going for. I was, I was thinking that Spencer was going to win, and the reason why I thought Spencer was going to win was because of the um, the stiffness I seen in in, in, uh, in Spence. It's stiffness. Yeah, the stiffness I seen in Spence. I thought, I, I'm sorry, I thought Crawford was going to win because of the stiffness I seen in Spence. And when He's real stiff. He was real stiff hitting the mitts with uh, Derek. And it okay. was like, he went to move his head, but he had no rhythm. I was like, oh, I said, I think I think Carpenter's going to get him. Wow. So, okay. So, 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 and, I already, and I said that on another interview even before the fight. So it's like I got just saying right now. I said it before the fight. Um, but there's another thing that I seen that was that I know that it wasn't really all Earl Spence. I think that Earl Spence, um, I think that trying to make 147 and that not making the way for so long and then coming down because it's a big force up on her anyway and then trying to make it, made it really weak. And I think that Crawford really, you know, he took advantage of it. But I'm not saying that Crawford probably wouldn't have won anyway because I was going for him. But I'm saying that I know that's why Spence looked as, probably as bad, bad as he did. I mean, he didn't look bad, he just looked weak. He looked, he, weak. Looked, he looked weak and not strong. He looked like everything was, every time he got hit, he, he did. Walk, walk. Yeah, he, and, and, and I really believe that's because of uh, the layoff and trying to make the way to 147 again. You know, you, how, can't, you can't just do that. How, but, how, how much, how hard, like, from your experience, how, how bad does it trying to make that weight? How does that affect you? Oh, it affects, you, it affects you tremendously. I remember when I was fighting lightweight, when I was fighting 135, and I would go and spar with Chicanito, Janeiro Hernandez. Mm. And Janeiro would be like, you're close to one thing, you're, you're close to your weight right now, right? And I'm like, how do you know? He's like, I can tell because you're, you're slower and you don't hit as hard and you're not as fast. You're not as fast as when you're like around 140, 47. Wow. When, you get to, when you start getting down to your weight, 135, you start slowing down. So for, for, uh, for Earl Spence not fighting for such a long time, not – making the weight, not making the weight. And then trying to make the weight on a big fight like that. That's that's right. That's really that's really, really hard to do, especially fighting um a Crawford that is like, you know, you have to be hundred percent to fight him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, he wasn't he was hundred percent. Well what did you see Crawford do right? Like what what do you think he did to for that victory to come through like that? He made everything right. <laughs> 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 he did everything right. But I'm saying from, from the beginning, he threw him the jab. The way he threw his jab, he threw a nice hard jab and got the respect of, of Spence. And Spence couldn't, Spence couldn't throw any combinations or anything back because the jab was so hard. But the jab was like a right hand, but you know he's a switch hitter anyway. Right. So, I mean, his jab was like a right hand. Every time he hit him, boom, boom. And it was just slowly weakening him even more and more that he was already weak. Right. right. Um, so, I mean... I would love to see the fight at 154 because I think that'd be a much better fight um, at 54. I still pull for Terrence Crawford. I think he has the edge still, but I think it'd be a much better fight. It'd be a much telling fight where you know it won't look like Crawford just blew him out like he did. Maybe he does the same thing. I don't know. I don't think so. But I think that really was his weight problem. Dude, that he, could a loss could a loss like that? affect him permanently? Um, I mean, if a car accident, if you're going 120 some miles forward, it didn't affect him that much. I don't know. I mean, the only, the only thing that can affect him is people saying, oh, we don't want to see the fight and, you know, this type of stuff, where they don't understand, you know, that he took the fight because he wanted to make, he wanted to make uh, the fans happy. He probably should have took the fight that time. Probably should, probably should have wake to a couple of tune-ups or Make sure you make the win or make the final 154 where Terrence Crawford wanted to go anyway. Right. But 
I think they were doing the, the whole uh, you know unification thing, and that was what they wanted, both of them. Um, but I think that fight could be a better fight at 154. It'd be a mm-hmm. much more competitive fight at 54 than at 47 because of, because of that weight. And I know that Chance Crawford was you know, probably drained a little bit too, but Chance Crawford had more times to make 147, get down there, and uh, just a stronger fighter. So, you know, I just think that it's going to be a better fight at 54. Maybe maybe even sixty. I don't know. Wow. I mean, I mean, why do you think that 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 Spence didn't adjust, make some adjustments? Because it seemed like he didn't, right? <laughs> because he's too weak. You can't. When you're that weak, when you're that weak, you can't do nothing. There's nothing you can do. I remember. I remember Oscar telling me when he fought Pacquiao. He's like, I seen everything come out. I seen. I just couldn't do nothing. He was so weak because he made. I think he went down to like 142 to make you know make sure that Pacquiao knew that he was coming down to the weight when they fought. And I was like, what what happened? He was like, I was just so weak I couldn't I couldn't even move. I couldn't move myself, my arms or nothing. It's like wow. something that you just can't. If you when you get that light, when you get that weak, you just can't do anything. You see everything, but you just can't do nothing. Have you have you ever felt that way in a fight? I have, but I, I never lost because I felt that way, but because I was. So much better than them, but I have felt that were like, God, like I see this stuff coming, I'm getting hit, and I felt the shot when I was fighting that lightweight. When I had to make the lightweight, I didn't even feel like two days, or whatever. I would feel so weak, but I was just so much bigger, stronger than them, so they couldn't do anything too about it or capitalize on it. So wait, that's wait, why I moved up. When you had that whole 24 hours to rehydrate to whatever, it wasn't that, enough. That's, that's nothing because you can't rehydrate fully. I mean, you can rehydrate a little bit, like, you know, 10, 15 pounds, but you can't rehydrate fully at that type of time. You know what I'm saying? So I know that, you know, I know that Spence was weak as a dog when he got there. He looked, he looked weak. You know what I'm saying? I know Terrence is strong, too. Terrence is a, is a hell of a fighter, and, you know, pound for pound, I think right now, the best. Yeah. yeah. Pound for well, pound, pound, pound for the best, but I just know that Earl wasn't where he was supposed to be, and he, there's nothing – you can do when you feel so weak like that. You get hold your hands up, bob and weave. Your time is everything's off. When yeah, that, everything's off. So I was hearing people talk about you know uh, Derek James not training him the right way. Derek James not training him the right way. That that's not true. It's just that he was just so weak he couldn't do anything. He could do nothing that they trained him. Right. You know what I'm saying? I I know this from from experience. Right. You just right. Can't do anything. You just feel like you can't do anything. You just feel like you know. So, so do you think we will see a, a vastly different Crawford in a rematch at fifty-four? You think you see what at fifty-four? Do you think we would see a vastly different uh, Errol Spence? I think that you'll see a vastly different Errol Spence. I think you see a better. I think you see the fight that we want to see. With that, Errol Spence, and Spence. I think that we'll see the type of fight that we want. More of that fight they wouldn't see with Earl Spence when he had some juice. He had he had no juice. Do you think Errol could win? It's a possibility, but I still think Crawford wins. I, I for me, I, you know, I, I, I'm a, I'm a Crawford fan, so I think Crawford's win. I just know the situation. That's why I'm speaking on Spence. But I'm a Crawford fan. I like Crawford. Right. I like the way he fights. He has the same mentality I have. He approached the fight the same way I do. Like he goes for the knockout. Like I mean, that that's he's my type of fight. Right. That right. Crawford is. So right. I like that. But I'm just saying, I just know what happened with Spence. So I, I feel bad for Spence because I know that he was weak as a dog. Wow. I mean, that's that's insane. You know, um, mm-hmm. what what do you think about Boots fighting Crawford? Oh, that that's a hell of a fight right there too. I like that. <laughs> I love that fight. Because Boots, is a, he's a dog, too. He go out there, he try, he try get the thing done, too. And he's sharp, he's fast, he's hungry. That would be a really good fight. Do you think it's too, too soon, or Boots, you think, is ready to jump in no, now? Boots is ready right now. I mean, it, 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 it's a ready fight. Both of them are you know, it's a ready fight. He's ready. Boots, if anybody's ready, he's going to be ready more than any of the other guys. Does Boots win? I don't know. Oh, you thought, though. You thought for a second, though. You're considering it. <laughs> I, it's a possibility. It's not like it's not. I think I think Crawford's like you know he got the he just got that that different type of mindset that he you know 
he, he's he's the top fighter. He's the best. He's one. He's a, he's a pop bomb. I mean, it's like, it's like him and Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah him, him and Tank. tank. Him and Tank. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, then you, and then you have Shakur coming up. Shakur, I mean, there's so many great fights. And, and, yeah, yeah. Shakur, I mean, Sugar Shakur, right? Yeah, Sugar Shakur. I heard that. That's right. Um, I, I can't think of a fight, a mega fight that was so one-sided. I mean, you versus Margarito was pretty one-sided, but... Like I tell you, it was one-sided because in, in certain situations, you have, when you go into the ring with certain people, you have to be, you have to be 100%. If you're not 100%, you're saying you'll be all messed up. So, 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 so to all the people that think that that's an excuse, you're saying that no, Spence no, that's really. No, that's not an excuse at all. I mean, Spence said he didn't did get a chance to fight for a long time. Well, he didn't fight for a long time, and then you're gonna try to make what's what, what you barely can make anyway from a long time ago. He probably walk around 185, 190 or something. One night, walk around 190 trying to get to 147. That's crazy. That's that. That's actually not healthy for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I know, man. I know. Yeah. Well, shit. Well, look, champ. I know you're at the gym, man. I don't want to keep you. Um, thank you. Thanks for talking to me. Let's 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 talk soon. Yeah. Uh, let's talk again, man. All right, brother. All right. All right Peace talk. out.